Welcome back to another week of Science at Home with me, Dr. Jillian Ramos, at the RMSC. I want to ask you guys, have you ever wondered how a huge tree gets water all the way to the leaves? Well, it's because they have a special tissue called xylem. Xylem transports water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. And so that's how leaves can stay green. Now today, we're going to use a plant's xylem to change white carnations into multiple different colors. It's gonna be a great gift to give someone. What you need is white flowers, some food coloring. I just found food coloring that I had in my cover. Some glasses of water. I chose clear glasses so I could see the colors. And I have a few wooden spoons to mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these plastic cups full of water. I'm going to add maybe about 15 drops of food coloring. Swirl to make sure it's nicely mixed. And stick my cup flour into it. This process of capillary action, which will bring water through the xylem up into the petals, might take a bit. So this isn't something we're gonna see very quick, so we will check back in on it. But before I stop, I wanna show you some other experiments that I'm gonna be doing. So you can see right here, I have two cups in which I have a stem that is split in half. I'm hoping that by adding two colors, this flower will become two colors, but I don't quite know. So we're gonna test that out. For this, I'm gonna choose a pink. Again, I'm gonna add 15 drops. So the other color I'm going to use is blue because I think it's really contrasting to pink. I'm worried if I did red or orange, we might not be able to discern the two colors. With these two cups, with the pink and the blue, I'm also going to add two white flowers. One of the last experiments I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a cup of water I'm going to choose red food coloring and what I'm going to do is I have cut three carnations to be different lengths. So I have a tall carnation, a medium sized carnation, and a short carnation. And what do you think is going to happen to the colors of these petals based on their height? I guess we'll find out. I'm going to put these three different heights of carnations in and we will see what happens. Lastly, I have a control vase of the white carnations. Now, in science, it's always good to have a control. Let's say these flowers died, maybe as a result of the food coloring. Well, I could only know that if I had a control. If my control flowers died also, that means just the flowers weren't healthy to begin with. Or let's say my flowers turn brown. And I don't know if that's because of the food coloring or because they're old. Well, now I have a control. If they turn brown, then I know the flowers were old. So it's always good to have a control when we do science experiments. Well, scientists, this experiment is not a quick one. I would say observe the petals after an hour, then after a couple hours, and then the next day. And how about you write down what happens? Some more experiments you can do with this is try different types of white flowers. Do they absorb the colors differently? Let me know, and I will be back soon.
Hi scientists, I'm back. It's been about 48 hours since I put the white carnations into the cups with the food coloring. And so I just kind of wanted to tell you guys how everything turned out because I was very surprised. So one of the first things I noticed is if you guys can remember, I had a cup full of purple food coloring, but you can see my flower is blue. And to really like reaffirm that, if you can remember, I had a dual dyeing experiment where this cup is blue and sure enough, my carnation is also blue and dead. You can also see in this dual dyeing experiment that my pink food coloring did not change the color of my flowers. So you can see that while yet splitting the stem in two did make half the flower turn blue, the other half has no color. And you can see that's true for the flower that was completely in the pink food coloring. So I don't exactly know why that is, but you can see now that if it was in the purple or the pink it didn't work out, Maybe it only takes up primary colors. That I'm not quite sure. So I want you guys to repeat this and tell me what happens. One thing that did work is, as you guys remember, I had the three different size carnations in red food coloring. And Interestingly, in the time-lapse video, it seemed that they all were dyed at the same rate. So, that was also very interesting. Now, I know all this is the case because my control flowers are still white. So, all this was very interesting to me and I'm curious what happens to you guys. So definitely try this experiment at home and tell me how it turns out.